Good morning, Facebook. Um, we join again, Luciano and Karina in Italy with myself and Catherine here in Solihull. Um, we wanted to come to you and explain why um, and what Catherine does in class um, and why our classes are quite so different to other people's. Um, so we will begin by explaining why Catherine has her laptop and types and types in the class. Mm -hmm. And this is to make an observation. Catherine, do you want to say um, what it is that you're doing? Yes, yeah, so over time uh, I've developed templates in order to evaluate and observe the children doing their activities. So I watch each child as they are doing the activity with the teacher and I write down the things that they are succeeding in, the things that they find tricky, the things that they need to work on and um, whether they have achieved the activity or not and the um, the specific skills that we are looking for them uh, to, to actually do. So uh, I uh, write down and type out for each child uh, a very detailed little report. And that happens every time they approach the teacher. So um, they have three attempts at each activity and Catherine will make an observation of every attempt and we'll see the successions um, and the success. So um, Karina Luciano, can you help us understand why? Why is it important that we focus um, the activity so specifically? It's very important to understand what is the level of every child, everyone, because the class is not for the same for all kids, but every kid, every kid can have a different level of activity uh, because uh, Luciano explained why. Uh, and <laughs> because th this is a, 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 an important concept for education. This is the concept of the zone of proximal development. That is uh, the, the right level of challenge uh, to give to the kids. Hmm? Uh, uh, just a little difficult, but possible uh, to succeed. It. Okay, uh, also succeeded also with a little help from the caregiver. Um, so it's really important that we offer children exactly the right level of activity, not too little, not too much. And we yes. make that um, observation every time they approach the teacher. And then when they see the teacher next time, they're offered exactly the right level of learning. Thanks, guys. That's been really helpful. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Nice. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.